Welcome back to the Secret to Cinematic series, which is basically just Cinematography 101. Last time I went over camera positioning and why you should shoot on the shadow side. You can check that out up there if you haven't seen it yet. This video is going to be all about cinematic tip number two, which is motivated lighting. Motivated lighting is really just a way to make your lighting look more natural. It's not unusual to see studio setups like this, where you don't really know where the light is coming from. You just kind of assume that there's a big artificial light right there, and you would be right. And that's not really a bad thing, it's just not super cinematic. Generally in cinema, you want things to look natural. This is more pleasing to the eye, and the brain doesn't have to worry about, you know, where the lighting is coming from. It's just good not to even have to think about it. Simply put, to make something cinematic, you have to make it look natural. And to make it look natural, you have to give a reason for why that light is hitting your subject. You have to show where it's coming from. Let's start with the key or main light. In this shot, the main light is coming from the window, right? Or maybe not. The light in this shot is actually coming from an artificial softbox right here. You just don't think about it because you see light coming from this window. Naturally, light comes through windows. You think that's what's lighting me. You don't even have to think about it. Now for this technique, you can either show the main source of light in your main shot, the way I do here with this window, or you can have it in a different shot that you kind of interpose or cut in with your main angle. Take this scene from Psycho. The main light is coming from the lamp, or at least it's supposed to be. Obviously the light is on and it's working, but there's definitely some softer fill light going on here off screen. You don't really think about it though because you see the lamp, and the lamp in your mind is the key light. Now for the fill or background lights. These are super easy. All you have to do is use practicals because they don't have to be as bright. Now in my circumstance, I've just got a little lamp back there lighting up this picture. And I've got the TV on with my channel on it behind me. These are sort of serving as my background and hair lights. The key to making it look good though is to have natural colors back there. Obviously with the TV, I could put any color on it that I wanted. But if I had say a red or blue light bulb in this spotlight here, it would kind of put you off, probably. At least it would put me off. Nobody has a red or blue light in their spot lamp. Here's a really short shot from The Godfather that illustrates practical, natural lighting very well. The subject comes up from the barbershop to the stairwell. His face is mainly lit from the light coming from upstairs, but we've also got a nice greenish blue hue from the window into the barbershop and also from the practical lights along the railing. You don't really have to think twice about this shot because it all seems natural but if those lights hadn't been there, the subject wouldn't be so defined. He would just kind of blend into the background into a big shadow. Also, side note, I bet this light was put there by the cinematographer too. So the lesson of the day is always show where your light is coming from. Well, at least if you want it to look natural. And with that, we're wrapped on quick tip number two for cinematography. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. It helps me out substantially. I really appreciate you. Until next time, remember that you are an awesome human being, and I'll see you soon.